If history is written by the winners, what happens to the rest of us? We're spending the week together. It is non-negotiable. That's it? No enthusiasm? Dad, you sure we're all related. You may have noticed your grandfather has a rather unhealthy Lewis and Clark obsession. Still dressing up, I see. Now, Lewis, whatever you decide to do with him, I support you. I can admit him to a facility, but the best thing is for him to be with family, going about his routine. Every year, your grandfather used to drag us on this thing called a discovery trek. So wait, what are you asking us? Oh, uh, who there cometh? Did we just see some white dude in war paint and leather skivvies? Who invited these gutter snipes into camp? Captain, I order you to stand down. When you step outside this tent, you will be transported back to 1805. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, no, oh no, 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 no. Please outfit our new friends. You want to be our squaw? Now you look like full-fledged discoverers. It's like they're trapped in some step for Davy Crockett flick. Lewis and Clark. We're about to embark upon that adventure into the unknown. This will be interesting. Father, I mentioned you were a big wig academic. That was a while ago. This is 6,000 pages. Well, a lot of that's footnotes. I take it you're a history buff? I'm just a bad father. Can we give the self-loathing and obsessive apologizing a break? Yes, we can. I'm sorry. No one ever teaches about being a parent. You didn't do too bad. Lewis and Clark ventured into the unknown, guided by an unrelenting desire to meet the Pacific. So you're just giving up? No, I'm just getting started.